The biggest part of the work on the development of this stadium will be done in this phase, as expressed by the KCCAFC chairman, engineer Andrew Mochibi. This phase basically is comprising uh, completing the superstructure of the primary stand. And what is involved in that superstructure, we are going to put up columns, we are going to sell, um, um, construct two slabs that are going to be part of the stands where players will be watching the stadium from. Then we're also going to construct the roof of the primary stand in this phase. In addition to that, we are going to undertake all the partition works. We are going to partition all the visitors' rooms, we are going to partition all the offices, all the boardrooms, all the toilets, all the shower rooms, all the dressing rooms. Any, require, any issue that requires partitioning is going to be done in this phase. In this same phase, we are also going to partition the, 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 hosted, the, 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 the residences of our players because we are going to have a camping facility here. We are also going to have uh, some rooms for the selected VIPs. We're also going to have rooms for the press, you the press, and all this is going to be done in this phase. While commissioning the second phase of the stadium construction, Minister of State for Sports, Peter Ogwang, commended the club management for the good job well done and urged the other government-owned clubs to pick a leaf. That is the initiative why I want to applaud the leadership of the current ED of cases and specifically the people who are in managing the club here for the work well done. I am very happy as a means of sports for the government investment here. This is what we need to do. And I call upon all other clubs which are owned by government. For instance, URA, I expect them now to think of having their home grounds. The KCCA Executive Director Dorothy Kisaka expressed joy in what the club has achieved so far as she promised more good things to come. The technical arm and the political arm must work together if we are going to get these great results like what we are celebrating today. Visionary leadership, teamwork, and hard work is going to cause us to have a state-of-the-art stadium in Kampala City. The second phase of the stadium construction is projected to cost 10.3 billion Uganda shillings and will run for a minimum of eight months starting Monday 12 February 2024. The construction project is manned by Sajay Construction Limited. The Philip Omondi Stadium in Lugogo is one of the facilities proposed to be used as a training ground for the upcoming AFCON 2027 tournament that Uganda will host with Kenya and Tanzania. Grace Joyce Kemigisa, UBC News.